What's up, everyone? This is episode 30 of the Late Night Channel Eves. I'm your host, Eve Mon. Hope you're all enjoying a lovely evening, afternoon, and day, wherever you are in the world. And today, I would like to talk about just how crazy this past week's been. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not without saying uh, Killjoy and I Killjoy is my co-founder for Eperus we have accomplished many things and, uh, and a great milestone has been achieved today for those who are familiar with uh, more on the the inner workings of blockchain and you know a, 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 a smart contracts and that kind of thing eperse is built on base and base is a layer two infrastructure uh that's a lot of the the say creator community in the nft space etc are now let's say are on this infrastructure or on this layer two and it's gaining tremendous momentum killjoy and i decided that it would be in our best interest to have everse on this um on this chain i guess you would call it is a base because there's just there's a there's a there yeah because as I mentioned there's a there's a huge community that's supporting it and the mechanisms and the infrastructure I believe or we believe is ideal for what we want for Eperus and Eperus's longevity. So on that note today. We have successfully, well, I give it to credit to Killjoy that uh, he has successfully put our, our, our contracts onto base main net. It has been done. It, it has been done. And I want to give uh, kudos and congratulations to Killjoy because he's been working very hard, diligently, to have it all ready up and running for a seamless minting experience this coming Friday, less than a day now, which uh, we are looking very forward to see all of you who are within the Ottawa Gatineau region. This is green tea, by the way, so excuse me as I drink this. Ah, it's so good. Yeah, it, <laughs> yes, folks, I put tea in this, okay? You got a problem with that? <laughs> so yeah um so we're, we're 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 like working really hard um and I, as i mentioned is any this is a startup we're literally it's like we're starting from the grassroots however we are leveraging our existing skills and i think it's great that you all would can tag along our journey because we ourselves are you know embracing and talking about embra embracing the unknowns and embracing the uncertainties we are truly acting on that well Eatmon's career my career has always been that so i'm i'm quite um i'm quite used to this i actually enjoy it uh i don't think i would uh uh i wouldn't want any any anything else other than Having a little bit of that uncertainty is in, is is needed and to 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 keep me on my toes, you know. Don't get complacent. Don't get comfortable. Always uh, explore new terrain. So this is a completely. I mean, I've done. You know, I've been through like a cycle and a half with uh, NFTs back in 2021, but really, this is my first time partnering up with Killjoy and launching this as our our own platform our own thing 
Um, my and and my my own vision with Eat Monkey, my own vision of Eatma and the world of Eeps. So it's it's it's. I think it's great that that those who are subscribed and who are, who who please comment if you have if don't be shy if you don't want to if, if if you know if just say you know just say a couple things say hi or whatnot. But it's, I want you guys to follow our trajectory. Where we go, I don't know. Maybe we'll look back one year from now and what I was talking about how. You know, we're just starting out, and this is, you know, we're truly walking that that startup life. Uh, and uh, well, you know, and as I mentioned, I've always been that way. But this is this is like my own personal, like like another another thing that's related to Eatmon, but it is its own entity. So I myself am very curious. It's kind of weird, right? It's kind of I'm curious on my performance <laughs> like and there's another eatmon looking at eatmon and saying okay let's see how you're gonna do one year from now or something um uh so yeah uh but i you know i feel that the time is right i have the right mindset uh attitude um and i get mentioning like you know the things that i've learned with eatmon being entrepreneurial in the sense of knowing how to promote, how to market, how to um, uh, uh, continue uh, outreach to engage with communities. I can tell you, right, okay, we haven't launched this yet. We're launching this Friday. However, the already, like as I mentioned, like I, I cannot stress this enough, the, the, the new com the communities that we are engaged in, new people we're meeting, People who are just as passionate and, and or have the same energy. We're it's like we're meeting so many people, and I'm, I'm learning a lot. I'm I'm continuing to learn about these new nonprofits, engaging in sponsorship, all this stuff. It, it, this is great. Like, I love that. It feels like you're feel like yeah, you know, it's 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 make something cool. And 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 on top of that, okay. We're not just building anything. We're building. We're not just building anything. We're building next generation. Use leveraging next generation technologies to build innovative, um, uh, like innovative products. Really, really. The idea is that we're actually engaging with communities, but we we have to provide a quote unquote still at the end of the day a type of service, and the service is really about Eat Monkey and creating a a platform to bring people together in a very authentic very genuine because eat versus i know it's, it's it is in many ways an extension of eatmon an extension of myself and how i view the world and having and 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 and, and what's and how um you know how i feel we should come together break down the barriers uh there's no like, break down the hierarchy just really have a good time meet people and build together i think i think this is the, that's one of the the key ethos of of web3 and decentralization um so the, the fact that we're just we're just like building new using new technology to build stuff i, I mean i like to think i like to think that we are you know at the forefront of that kind of stuff and we have the right mindset to, I, I feel we have the right mindset the killjoy and i I can tell you, I'm gonna be very transparent. But work with this guy, phenomenal, phenomenal. You know, it's like uh, we complement each other. Like he's extremely amazing at what he does, and I like to think so the same thing myself. Uh, but we, because of we, we just basically cover our. We, it's, like, it's like base is loaded. Like we 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 have it all figured out, and we meet in the middle, and we know how to like organize things, and we know exactly that. Okay, you know. Things need not to be uh, like you know super you know like super perfect at the beginning. You know everything we understand is an iterative iterative process, and every iteration it's all about progress, 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 improvement, improvement, improvement until we develop a a a, a certain system and pattern that we you know it makes that works for both of us. Then we get to 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 sort of um, okay you know solidify and 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 build uh, more efficient ways of streamlining things, but for now 
as a startup, yeah, you know, we will have a structure that works, whether it's anything from file organization, making sure that we document our expenses, to uh, how we uh, create um, uh, a bit of a style guide of how our brand eFirst is uh, 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 portrayed to the to the public. Um, you know all these things, right? It, it's it's uh, it, we we you know we, we really know how to measure, right? We, we kind of feel it. You know, got to feel it. You know what I'm saying? You got to feel it. You got to feel the 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 way in which you know how much is too much and going overboard and over obsessing versus how much is like okay, we 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 take it for granted and we don't uh, we should have paid attention more on these things. We we learn how to navigate and figure out that middle way, and I think that's what. Killjoy and I do very very well is really finding that that balance. Um, so yeah, I I just I just thought I I'd share that with you all because I think that's a a, a, a very key component with um, with any startup or any sort of like you know business endeavor. I think there are so those who are like I want to make sure you know, everything is but the reality is the universe is always changing with whether you like it or not so part of what we got to do is we have to be malleable we have to be agile we have to be flexible and we know how to, we need to know how to to you know take a take take, uh, take ownership and responsibility and be accountable so that's what I love. That that's 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 where I like I love that stuff, you know, like, you know. Like I said, like I can do art. I can do generative art. I can code stuff. I can make things and all this stuff. But the other form of art is what I just described. Is the art of that intuition and finding that nice balance so that, you know, the the eepers can thrive um um with the right uh with the right, I sort of say, just just sort of the right tools and and momentum. Yeah. So we're we're ready for Friday. So I'm I'm ranting right now. So I you know I'm not apol I don't apologize, but you know this is the late night Chinese. But I I just want to rant and talk a bit about that because I think this is, um, I, I would say like like at least 80% of the battle is really knowing how to steer the ship, right? And knowing how to uh, navigate through the waters and, 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 uh, and grow at the same time. So yeah, perhaps Eepers might, you know, if things keep on going forward, Eepers may have to uh, uh, grow a bit. And uh, yeah, maybe, at some point down the road, grow the team too. So that could that could be very exciting. Lots of things to explore. Lots of things to explore. And we are very excited for showing the whole airdrop mechanism at this like this coming Friday. Because those who get the Eat Monkey on that day, and if you are at the IRL in real life at Art Engine. We will have a fun count countdown. We're gonna document. We're gonna do a countdown, and then we go three, two, one, and then they're going to have the uh, air, everyone will get the airdrop of the Art Engine hoodie, in which you can equip Eat Monkey with. Okay, and that is like I know what I describe is very very simple. You're just dressing up a monkey, but the mechanics behind it, using this blockchain infrastructure, is a very powerful idea. It's a very powerful idea. Um, I think that as much as I wanted this to talk about a bit about that, I think we will leave that to the, this Friday when we have our info info session about um, explaining about blockchain and uh, how and why this is relevant for creators and this sort of mechanism as like sort of that equipping or accessorizing your character is a very powerful idea i think we will definitely touch upon that 
um, and you know whether it's in the session or question period or something like that. But yeah, it's a very powerful idea. I think I think if you really are interested, you should do. I would recommend you do your do you do your due diligence and look online as to um, why that is. But with that alone, I foresee so many great things and fun things we can do. So it's gonna happen, folks. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's a long day, long, long day. Tomorrow, a meeting. Uh, a director general of a of a museum and talking about um, you know just catching up. Maybe talk a bit about eat first with that in, that individual. So we uh, be fun, you know. Early in the morning, gotta get up early. I've been getting up early a lot these days. It's interesting. It used to be such a super night out. I kind of still am, but I get up really really early. Like, well, not really really early, but I get up around like seven o'clock, you know, and then. Just make my ritual, make my oatmeal, and then make my coffee, and it's, it's the best thing ever. Best thing ever. And then I just still early, I just start getting, you know, my, my, my mind is like, you know, freshen up. And I know it sounds kind of sad, but I, I get to work. <laughs> I, get, I get back to the computer and start doing stuff. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Friday, okay, morning time, I am actually, I've been invited to speak uh at a seminar at the canada council for the arts uh it's uh their whole they're, the venue they're hosting it uh but this is going to be uh, with C canadian heritage um, what i will be talking about is um, basically uh, my experience during the team canada trade mission to japan and as i mentioned earlier we haven't listened to my previous episode is that canadian heritage is creative industries trade mission last year was in collaboration with global affairs canada so trade commissioner all that so it's part of a larger discourse of the trade of the canadian trade mission aka team canada trade mission which had the creative industry which i was part of under the canadian heritage umbrella in japan with the bigger with with 200 I think it was like 200 plus delegates. It was pretty crazy. This year, Team Canada went to Korea. I believe they went to um, went to Vietnam, and I think another other country was it Malaysia? I forget. But I didn't I didn't go to those ones. Uh, but the, as a testimonial, in a way, like, you know, I really felt that my experience was very fruitful, and I look forward to it. I'm just preparing some presentation slides to show them. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, I think, uh, that should be fun. That's in the morning. That's like, that's basically from the first half of the morning, no, nine to 12. Actually, no, that's just, that pay pretty much is morning, nine to 12. And then I got to get ready for eat first, which is 5 30 PM to 7 30 PM in the evening. So that's Friday is going to be a crazy day. Crazy, crazy. But I am excited and I can't wait. Let's go. Let's do it. Anywho, I am, uh, we're already almost 19 minutes in and I thank you for your time. Like, look, you know, I hope that what you listen and what you have to hear, whether it's informative or not, I appreciate you listening. It's, you know, sort of like a winding down the day and sort of like uh, reflecting on things and, uh, you know, you can grab a tea or coffee or late night coffee or just anything just just relax and just listen to me spiel and as i talk to my computer haha -ha. so anywho i'm going to get ready to hit the sack because tomorrow is a brand new day yeah, that's right okay guys see you later this is episode 30 late night shadow eves eat mods signing off and until tomorrow. Listen, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do some late night channel eves session interviews with my my with my buddies. So perhaps down the road, but yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing that soon. Okay, see you later. Bye bye.